Indigenous culture comes to the forefront in downtown St. Catharines, September 6th through 8th. The annual Celebration of Nations this year will honor Mother Earth with over 40 events. It's a celebration of the diversity, creativity and resilience of our Indigenous peoples, bringing all nations together right here in Niagara. Every year that we've had this uh, gathering, we've uh, mixed in very purposeful thematic uh, content and objectives, along with providing a lot of that exposure to Indigenous culture and uh, all of the arts um, that, uh, that our people uh, uh, utilize to uh, express themselves and express their culture. So uh, it's always been an interesting mix if you're really tapped into understanding what we're doing, uh, that we're dealing with a lot of serious subject matter along the way. And it's no different this year. So the subject matter this year and the theme, empathic traditions, what exactly does that mean to you? In uh, many native cultures, and particularly Haudenosaunee culture, the essential basic foundational uh, teaching, some people call these the, the meta-narratives, infuse within the people a sense of their connections to all things around them that make life possible. So not just the plants and the animals, but also the, the elements and the energies that, um, that make uh, human life possible. By the culture fusing those connections uh, into people, it enhances their empathy, their empathic traditions. And this is, this is a very important uh, sort of foundational understanding uh, within many of our indigenous cultures. And what we're doing uh, with that concept this year is applying it toward this notion of what's happening with the planet right now in terms of climate change and, and uh, biodiversities and species at risk and, and all of these things. So within this whole package for, for 2019, we have a lot of fascinating, entertaining uh, events, but there's also going to be sessions that deal very seriously with, the, with this topic of sustainability. The opening night concert will feature two Juno Award winners and a six-time winner of the Canadian Aboriginal Music Awards. What we're going to do uh, this year is really explore the, the blues uh, with uh, Pappy uh, John's band and uh, uh, Murray Porter and, and Harrison Kennedy. These are all phenomenal uh, credentialed musicians. The title we gave it is Down the Dirt Road, which is one of Charlie Patton's song titles, right? And so we're following the road on the evolution of the blues, uh, you know, up to uh, Chicago, uh, uh, Memphis, Chicago, Detroit, and, and places like that, right on to the, on to the res, right on to Six Nations. The weekend kicks off with a sunrise ceremony on Friday, September 6th at 6.30 a.m. All events take place downtown with the first Ontario PAC at the heart of the program. That's another thing about Celebration of Nations. It's so beautiful to have community feel empowered and feel that they're part of this gathering for the three days. And there will be teachings, there will be workshops. We're bringing in a Discovery Zone workshop. We'll have Museum Interactive Ruppets, uh, which is a puppet show. Uh, we have a gentleman that uh, will be performing the Eagle Dance, but also another teachings. Uh, we have an opera, so we're going to be showing the broad scope that Indigenous people play in the art world. There's an incredible respect in Niagara for Indigenous knowledge and bringing us together. The PAC, incredible partners, um, and they're not doing this to check off a box. They are doing this because they're truly invested in delivering messages uh, about Indigenous people. Many of the events scheduled for September 6th through 8th are free of charge. For information, visit celebrationofnations.ca. Reporting in downtown St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.